Hello everybody, welcome to today's vlog. I am in bed, I'm currently watching some Star Wars. I was in the mood to start Emperor Strikes Back. Sorry, A New Hope. Almost started an Emperor Strikes Back. Just brushed my teeth. Now I'm ready to pass out. I took my melatonin already, and I'm just here relaxing, and finally taking time just to hang out and enjoy my time watching a movie. Because I haven't watched a Star Wars movie probably in about a year or two, so I was just, I was scrolling through Disney+, Plus and I was just like, I've already seen all these animations back to back pretty much all last year. Year and I'm kind of almost sick of them, so they're they're nostalgic and fun to watch. But once you've seen all of them, you've kind of gone them all down. So I'm sitting down, relaxing, and watching a classic that was released 30 years ago, almost 35 years to the date. This was released in 1977, so uh, another another 54 years, another 54 years until this is like 55, 56 years old, which is crazy because Get Back, no, sorry, not Get Back, Abbey Road just hit 50 years old like a couple months ago and Let It Be hit 50, is about to hit 50 soon. So that's why they're, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Peter Peter Jackson is editing Let It Be film, uh, the Beatles movie, which is supposed to be released next year. Excited about that. I'm off tangent. I always get off tangent. I think I either have ADHD or something, another part of my learning disability, and I'm as well pretty sure I have dyslexia. Self-diagnoses, so they don't count. I've never been diagnosed for anything else but the George syndrome, so uh, I haven't, I don't know anything else fucked up with my body, so uh, really fucked up with my brain. Again, off tangent. I'm gonna watch Star Wars and then I'm gonna pass the fuck out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So I think I figured out a system for the melatonin. So I, f I took the one and I fell asleep. It took about 25, 30 minutes because, you know, getting the REM, it's supposedly to take 20 minutes for you to get to REM. So I, I fell asleep within 20 minutes and then I woke up at like four or five o'clock in the morning with uh, back and neck pain because when I sleep, I sleep with my shoulders up for some reason. It's like a habit that I formed that I've been trying to break, but I sleep like this. Like when I'm laying down on my side I'm a side sleeper so my shoulders are just up like this all the time for some odd reason and it's like why do you go up when you're on your side but then I when I lay on my back they're down so I'm trying to break the habit of sleeping like this but I've been sleeping like this with my shoulders up four years now five years now something like that I, I get major back and neck and shoulder pain from sleeping like that it's honestly ridiculous and it sucks but it's whatever. So I woke up in the middle of the night and then I was just like, okay, I can't fall, fall asleep. So then I started to watch Star Wars again on my phone and just try and get to sleep and then I was like okay never mind I'm just gonna try and close my eyes so I tried to close my eyes that didn't work and then I was like should I take a second melatonin so I took a second melatonin and then I fell asleep right away so maybe I should take one melatonin wait an hour and then take a second one again so I can get the maximum effect because I didn't freak out like that my body was just like oh this is nice and I woke up feeling great um I fell back to sleep around five o'clock it's 2 30 now um I fell asleep around five o'clock and uh I got some good sleep uh, uh, I woke up once to go feed Squirt because my body's just on that repetition. So I just woke up, fed Squirt, and then went back to sleep. But um, it was a pretty good night's sleep last night. No complaints, really, besides my shoulder and back. And uh, oh yeah, my ear was in a weird. It wasn't in pain. It was just throbbing because I sleep with headphones, and so it it does that when you have. I guess I cut off blood circulation or something, I don't know, but my ear was annoying me, so I had to massage out my neck and my shoulders, and my ear stopped being fucking stupid, so then I fell back to sleep. Don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, to be honest. I'm probably just gonna relax, uh, because I'm tired. I'm probably not gonna play drums today again. I didn't play, I haven't played for like two or three days, just because I have been tired, and my body has, uh, just been a little more tired than usual, because I've been going to bed, uh, late, and my body's just getting used to the new melatonin from the other melatonin because they're different brands and your body digests things differently from different products. I'm trying to get used to it so if I film something I'll film something. It is 7 o'clock. It's 7 16 p.m. now. What am I going to do now? Well a I gotta finish watching Steve-O's podcast and then uh, I am going to flip over to Xenoblade hopefully. My computer does have an update so I will probably be doing that if it'll let me open it, which I don't think. There it goes. Now it's, now it's, now it's, oh, now it's opening. Like six of them. Oh shit. There we go. All right. I will, I'll restart this computer.
now. But um, what did I do today? I literally have just been practicing guitar for the past couple of hours. Um, I when I'm bored, I just look up new skills to learn. So I've been just learning new basic skills, uh, skills, new basic scales that I don't really know well enough to apply to my playing, like new minor skills or new major skills that. I should learn, so been practicing those, and then didn't play drums today, probably not gonna play drums today. Uh, I'm feeling better today, though, I don't know if I said that, I'm feeling less sick than I have been for the past couple of days. I don't know what it's, been. it's probably because I've been taking my uh, allergy medicine, which I should probably take one of these, I don't think I've taken one today. So I'm gonna take one of these, and it's also because probably my melatonin's different, it's a, it's a healthier brand um, than the Sleeping Valley brand, so it's probably another key and I'm also getting better sleep so that's a plus uh, when you get bad sleep your immune system just drops so uh, yeah I've been getting better sleep but um, I'm gonna restart this computer and I'm gonna play Xenoblade and I'll see you guys when I'm done playing Xenoblade hopefully I get like five hours in today I'm hoping all right it is almost 10 30 sorry lens cap it is almost 10 30 and I'm gonna call this video here I just ended a four or five hour session of Xenoblade I finished chapter two and now i am on chapter three i don't know how many chapters there are in this game i didn't look anything up i know there are only there's about 50 hours so i can only guess that there's about 10 to 12 chapters in the game maybe even about 14. that's just my guesstimate of how long this game is i've never played the first one i might get the definitive edition but the definitive edition is just one and two and i think another like a good dlc or something I don't know, but it's like 150 bucks on the Nintendo Switch eShop, which it is not, it's not worth it. That's a guitar pedal, that's a cymbal, I could buy something much more worth my time than a $150 video game. I think that is ridiculous and that it's not worth my time to spend my money on that. But um, I don't know what I'm going to be playing after Xenoblade. I think I might actually finish Zelda Breath of the Wild, because Breath of the Wild is only like 16, 20 hours comparative to what Xenoblade is. If I can play Xenoblade for this long, I can fucking finish Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath of the Wild is probably half the amount of time of what Xenoblade is, because fucking, fuck. I know I've been talking a lot about video games lately, but that's all that's been going down in my life besides practicing music. Because all I can do is just play video games since Goodwills aren't doing any shows. And I'm not releasing any music anytime soon until I feel comfortable enough with my guitar playing ability. So, uh, shows and music is going to be back burner up until something exciting happens again. Which is probably when everyone gets the vaccine so we can go out and do shit again. Because I miss, I miss playing rock shows. I do. But... I would much rather stay inside and let this roll over than to be going out and playing rock shows and getting sick and not being a human. So, yeah, I digress. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along for my journey. Your time is my time, so I do greatly appreciate you guys hanging out and appreciating my content as much as I appreciate my content. So you guys know what to fucking do. If you guys want to subscribe, subscribe. If you guys want to leave a like, leave a like. If you guys want to comment something, comment something down below. And I'll reply. Also, don't forget to share the video as well. Don't forget to ding dong that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys here tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. for the next daily vlog.